Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Reselling Farming Mom. For those of you that don't know, my name is Ashley. Tonight we're gonna go through everything that's sold this week as well as everything that's shipping out tonight. And I also wanted to hit on whatnot a little bit and tell you guys what we have going on with that. We had a live webinar with whatnot and their reselling team. So I wanted to recap that a little bit for you if you didn't get to see it, as well as I went on an adventure. Well, my husband and I and the boys went on an adventure this weekend, yesterday to be exact, and I wanted to tell you all about it. So make sure you stay tuned for that. It's gonna be exciting. Okay, so let's get to these items that sold. A couple of them were super fast sales. One of, one was even, I think, an hour. It sold in an hour. So, the first item I had sell. The last video I told you about the Corning and the Vision Wear, Vision Wear? Yeah, Corning Wear Visions. Uh, I re have been picking them up because I saw another reseller talk about how, you know, they sell, sell, sell. And I've been picking them up consistently, but they haven't been selling for me. In the last video, I told you about how I sold the two and a half liter pot and lid for the first time I sold a piece of it. Well, then after that video, I sold another piece. I sold the Corningware Visions Amber Cookware one and a half liter saucepan pot with lid. That one and a half liter sold for $20.50. I picked it up. I think I picked it up at a garage sale for $2, so it's a pretty good profit. But, I mean, that one sold the next day. And my, I told my husband about it. He goes, your video hasn't even went live yet. And I said, I know, I'm so excited. So, I'm still very consistently picking them up. The next item we had go out was another one of the new Old Stock Cores light silver bullet racing hanging banner the 36 by 60 banners uh you guys have seen me hold them up for you multiple times uh this was an item that was free to me from a family member well free to me for now from a family member that was downsizing sold this one for asking price of 22 dollars. if you are interested in this item make sure you go check them out i have some listed in ashley's thrifty shop on ebay if you let me know that you're a subscriber or that you follow my channel or you follow me on Instagram, uh, make sure you send me an offer because I will work with you on the price. I will always work with people that support me. It's just the right thing to do. So then the next item was a set of four Corral Tulip pattern, 10 and a quarter inch dinner plates. These, I picked these up for $2 because it's a set of four. I pay 50 cents a plate most generally. These sold for $11.96. I am running a 20% off promotion right now on my 500 oldest listings, trying to get them moving. I try to keep the sale running because it promotes, it's not a promoted sale where I promote the individual items, but it's a discount promotion. And I've noticed, I looked at the analytics in eBay and it really boosts my sales. So I was, I did that for my 500 oldest listings, excluding cassette tapes, because cassette tapes are really cheap in general. So I didn't put them in it. So if you're interested in my, any of my 500 oldest listings, they're 20% off right now. So. And that automatically comes off, I think. But the next item was a set of four Corral My Garden soup cereal bowls. These were a different kind of bowl. They had the color was on like the rim, the outer rim. It wasn't on the inside of the bowl at all. I was $2 in on the set of four and they sold for $17.56. So I think this is another one of those that sold with a 20% off because I don't typically price things in weird numbers like that so unless they send me offers I, I accept weird offers but usually people are even numbered or like half dollar offers so the next item was a set of three vintage anchor hacking uh the white dinner plates with the gold trim in the swirl the set of three sold for 8.95 
it's I was a dollar fifty in. It's not a huge profit, but these plates don't sell very high from what I could see from the sold comps. But I had quite a few of them, so I wanted to get them listed. I could only find three at the time when I was listing, so I listed the three, and then I found three more. So instead of pulling the listing, I just listed the three, and I'll later this week I'll list the other three. Next was a Disney Mickey Mouse Red Two Slice Toaster. It was new in the box, and when you toasted it, the box said like it was supposed to put like the Mickey imprint on the toast. I thought that was really cool. We picked this up at five for five dollars at a garage sale over the summer, so it sold for nineteen ninety six. So it's still a decent profit. But the most exciting part about this sale is that a new subscriber picked it up. Thank you, whoever you are, for buying that toaster. It made me so excited because this is the first time. Well, no, it's not the first time. Treasures Galore Store was the first time I'd had a subscriber reach out when they were buying stuff from my store. But this is the second time, and it still just it gets me that, you know, you guys are finding me on the different platforms. Because I don't know if everyone really does when I tell you, go check me out on eBay or <coughs> when you're on Instagram. Like... I don't know how much of that really converts. I haven't seen it yet, but my husband tracks the, that stuff better than I do. So he tells me when things convert. I know we're converting from whatnot to YouTube because people tell us that they're doing it, but that's all I've got. That's all I've got. So the next item was an overnight sale. This was another 1957 Jones Dairy Farm print ad. It was another little sausage ad. I started working on a second magazine. I pulled all the ads and I started listing them. Uh, so this one sold to the same buyer that bought the first little sausage ad. They found it and bought it in a day. Sold for $5.95. And I want to thank you whoever commented about using produce bags because I bought the produce bags. I actually bought two sizes. I bought... I should have been prepared. I bought the kind for the little ads and I bought the kind for big ads. And I think I got them at, like, I did the math. I bought rolls of 500 and I, the math came out to like three cents a piece. And for the, the small ad polys, I was paying six cents a piece. So thank you for saving me half my costs. I'm really excited. I've already started using them. So and they don't, I mean, they don't hold their structure as well as the poly did, but they're going to be easier to work with, I think, when shipping, because I was trying to fold them and put them into between cardboard, and I was really struggling because I was worried about the ad, but I'm super pumped. I've been using them, so. Next was my one hour sale, guys. This picture, this was... And if you follow me on Instagram, there was a reel about it. I was spinning around in the chair. I had a lot of fun with it. This is a L. Gottinger and Company Home Essential Ivory Cabbage Leaf Vegetable Pitcher. It was in excellent condition. The funny thing about this pitcher is that, <coughs> sorry, we were at the Goodwill Thursday night. It was Thursday night. And we were walking around picking stuff up. And this pitcher, I looked at it. And I looked it over and then I, I looked it up and it didn't have very good sold comp. The sold comp was $12 and I was paying $2 for the picture itself. Um, there was only two other ones listed on eBay and I hemmed and I hawed over it. I put it back and then finally I stuck it in the cart and I said, you know, I'll just pick it up. Well, I've been working on keeping inventory flowing in the basement and so... I, that was one of the items I listed Thursday evening and it sold within an hour of being listed. And I actually listed mine for $14.95 instead of the $12 that it had sold for in the last 90 days because the other one that was listed on eBay was listed at $24.95. So I figured if I went right in that middle, I might luck out a little bit better. And I did because it sold... So I was $2 in and it sold for $14.95 in less than an hour, guys. So if you see this cabbage leaf pitcher, I highly recommend picking it up. So, and it, I've never seen pieces, I've never even seen that brand before. So it's definitely a brand that I'm going to start watching out for. The next item was 
a Dale Earnhardt Jr. number 88 Amp Energy Mountain Dew 2008 NASCAR die cast. It's a 124 and it was new in the box. So it was a bigger car. It wasn't little, it was decent sized. Um, I paid about a dollar for this at a garage sale over the summer. Um, we did a, I'm pretty sure we did a haul video on all of the NASCAR items that we had picked up at that garage sale because we didn't pay very much money for all of them. We actually, I think we're buying things by the bag. It sold for $15. It was listed for about 20, but I accepted the offer because I knew it's been on eBay for quite a while. Um, so it just goes to show you never know. I've got, I think I'm up to over 1200 items listed in my eBay store. So I'm hopeful, but with that, <coughs> I'm so sorry. I want to talk to you about whatnot a little bit. I know we're in the middle of the week sales, but I've been doing a lot better about the daily listing on eBay and it's very much showing my throughout the week, my Monday through Friday sales. My weekend sales this weekend were a little bit slower, but this is going to take me, transition me into whatnot a little bit, whatnot. The webinar we had on Thursday evening, they were all about talking about goals and goal tracking and set yourself up for what you wanna accomplish. And even though it was about whatnot, I set myself the goals for whatnot a little bit, but then I really thought about my eBay goals a little bit because I wanted achievable goals. I, I work full time. I am a, I'm a mom. I am a wife. I have other things on my plate. I don't just have reselling is not my full time gig. So I have to set achievable goals that I know I can accomplish with all my other things going on. So my personal goal for eBay is two transactions a day, which to a lot of resellers isn't a lot, but for me, it's consistent sales. And if I, I didn't make a quite the same goal about my listing because I know if I list daily, it's been converting into daily sales. Um, so that's where I'm at with that a little bit. What not goals are a little different. I did, tell my husband that my goal for whatnot was to run two sales a month, scheduled sales. So last night we ran a sale, granted it was only scheduled for a day, but I ran it. We ran a mystery box sale because they said to run what you were been successful in. And well, I have been very successful in mystery box sales. At first I wasn't sure if it was gonna be successful, but it was. We sold all 15 boxes. We ran three small giveaways and we ended up gaining followers. We are almost to 500 followers, which is my what I wanna hit. I've been planning a really awesome 500 follower show for whatnot. And we scheduled yesterday, I scheduled a show for two weeks out. So it, there's two weeks for people to find me on whatnot and bookmark the show and see if they're interested in it. I did not upload a thumbnail for it, but I described it. It's just vintage prints print ads and ephemera. So if you're interested in vintage print ads and ephemera, make sure you go check us out on whatnot. It's going to be two weeks from yesterday. I'm not sure of the day, but if you want to look us up on whatnot, it's reselling farming mom. It's got my little pink sparkly logo. So I like my little pink sparkly logo. So let's get back to these sold sold listings from this week and then we can talk about what's going out tonight so then we had a blue spongeware candlestick holder it was farmhouse style pottery it was just a single though this i picked up at the goodwill as well for a dollar or two i think and it sold for 9.50 not a huge profit but it got it off the shelf it's been on there for a while i typically like to pick up spongeware pieces if they're decently priced just because you never know some spongeware it sells super fast then we had a set of four kelp craft by noritake east fair salad plates made in ireland so grandma picked these up for me at the goodwill she picked up a whole set there was a platter dinner plates salad plates a gravy boat and i want to say there were mugs i can't remember for sure so I was $2 in on this set of four plates and they sold for $20.80. The dinner plates sold first and the fastest, but 
we're slowly getting rid of all of it. Nortaki is a brand that if it's, again, re reasonably priced like Corel, I will always pick it up because it has a very good um, profit margin if you get it at the right price. Then the last item that sold throughout the week was a Corningware Visions Amber Cookware one and a half liter pot sauce pan and lid. And you say, but Ashley, you already told us about the one and a half liter Visions Cookware one and, or I already said one and a half, but you already told us about that. And I smile and say, but I sold a second one. I told you I had a couple overnight sales. So one was the ad was an overnight sale. The Gottinger pitcher was an hour sale. And this Corning one and a half liter was another overnight sale. This was another item I picked up at the Goodwill the same night I picked up the Gottinger pitcher and this sold the next day as well. So that was pretty exciting that I've had multiple sales this week that have sold super fast. One of these ads actually is, that is going out tonight is another one that I had just listed yesterday. So <clears throat> the ads are moving guys. If you're not looking into selling vintage ads, it's not huge money, but they don't take up any space and they oh what was i gonna say they don't take up any space and they're super easy to list three pictures for max is all i have to take of these but the plates the plates went first yesterday i told you i had two transaction per day goal while well, i hit my two transactions even though it might have been to the same person i still sold two so first up was this set of four queens sanderson nine inch plates Peony tree duck egg blue. So I'll show you, there are four of them and then I'm gonna get one and show you a little bit closer. When I'm picking up fancy plates, sometimes I just don't look them up. Look how beautiful that is. And it's Queens Sanderson. Um, and it had all of the things I just read to you on the back of the plate. But look how beautiful that is. And they were in excellent condition for them being as patterned as they are. They've been listed, I want to say less than a month. And they, I was $2 in and they sold for $16.95. So that's a really good, you know, flip for plates. Just saying, in case you were wondering, that's a good sold on plates. And then the same buyer bought this set of four. These are just, they're totally today made in China plates. There's four of them, they're a smaller plate. Look how beautiful they are and how detailed. There's a hummingbird and a butterfly and the flowers. This set of four sold for $14.95. I picked these up for $2 at the thrift store last weekend. I did not look them up. I bought them because I just thought they were too pretty to leave there. And when I got them home, I thought the sold comps would be a little higher, but they weren't. But I listed right at the same price that other people were listed at and i'm thinking maybe i was just closer in the united states than the other person was and they bought mine so then we had i told you we had an ad sell so these are my produce bags they're they don't like i said they don't hold their shape as well but they serve their purpose and they're only three cents a piece granted i didn't buy them one at a time i had to buy a whole entire roll but they work they serve their purpose and they save me money and the buyer is going to be happy when they get it so this is a vintage 1957 this is a yellow pages print ad with a cartoon couple riding a tandem bicycle it's a long skinny ad all black and white and it's funny because when i was listing it i couldn't remember what a tandem bicycle was called all I could think of was a two-seater bicycle and I knew that wasn't it so I asked Siri while I'm listing I'm like Siri what is a bicycle with two seats on it called and she goes a tandem bicycle and I was like thanks Siri so <clears throat> the last item that I had sold today so this one sold today and then we had a set of two milk glass they're EO Brody USA milk glass vases sell they're not the same they're different 
I was 50 cents in on these. I picked them up. I've had them listed for quite a while. I picked up a bunch of milk glass vases for a quarter a piece at the thrift store. I want to say about six months ago. I'm like, they're only a quarter. I'm going to pick a bunch up. And they sold for $10. I accepted the sell the seller's offer. I accepted the buyer's offer at 10. I think they were listed for like 12, so it wasn't bad at all. So, but I know you guys are all hanging on to the edge of your seats. You want to know what my adventure was yesterday. So, we I've talked to you guys about bubble wrap. And last week I told you about newspaper and egg cartons. Well, today I'm going to talk to you about bubble wrap. I have bought I've started buying Bubble Boy, American Bubble Boy Bubble Wrap. If you also buy American Bubble Boy Bubble Wrap, <coughs> you know that you get 700 feet for $35, free shipping plus tax shipped right to your door. Super convenient, super cost effective, yes? Well, I'm always looking for a deal. My husband's always looking for a deal. Somebody on Marketplace was selling rolls of foam insulation and packing foam like rolls of it and in our heads we we're envisioning 12 inch foam rolls and when the gentleman found out that he we were interested in bubble wrap he says I also have bubble wrap and we're like oh, great how much does it cost and he told us that he wanted $30 a roll for 500 feet and I told my husband right off the rip I said no we can buy American bubble boy bubble wrap and they, they send it to our door and it's cheaper than that when the gentleman asked us why we weren't interested anymore, when we explained to him and he says, well, I'll make you a deal. And he agreed to do $10 a roll for us for 20 rolls. So this is a big investment in bubble wrap, guys. Huge bubble wrap investment. We were going to buy 20 rolls, 20 500 foot rolls of bubble wrap. So all day Friday, I mean, we borrowed an enclosed trailer from someone and I'm psyching myself up to go buy this 10,000 feet, I believe is 10,000 feet of bubble wrap. Okay. We get there, we drive an hour, mind you, an hour away. And we get there to this driveway, this drive lined with C or, um, empty semi trailers. That's like their fence. And then they have my husband back the trailer up to an open semi-trailer. And they tell me to go look in the trailer by myself. And is that what I'm interested in? And I go and oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. These rolls, they're like four feet tall. We filled this trailer up and I don't even think we got 20 rolls. I have no clue how much bubble wrap we got. But you guys, the rolls of bubble wrap are so big, they don't fit in our doorway. We actually almost broke the frame off of a door trying to get it in the kids' bedroom because we filled a downstairs bedroom full of foam and bubble wrap. That's how much we got. It's nuts. But the foam wrap and the bubble wrap is super awesome and I'm really excited to use it. And I'm probably not going to have to buy bubble wrap for at least six months to a year. So that thought really excites me. So I'm gonna make sure that we throw some clips in there and I actually, I'm gonna go show you the bedroom right now because <laughs> it's just nuts. We found the kids last night, actually they built an obstacle course with it and we hadn't known. So we may or may not have put the neighbor boy with our two boys into timeout yesterday because they thought that they should build an obstacle course out of foam and bubble wrap. Yeah, good times. Well, that's all I have for tonight guys. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for next week. Hopefully my husband adds up all the numbers and I can give you an update on our Christmas for Kids fundraiser. Have a great week. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe.